Welcome back. Take a look at this flyer right here. It shows Florida's longest running Amber Alert. For the past 22 years, a Pasco County aunt has wondered what happened to her nephew. And as ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone finds out, Zachary Bernhardt disappeared when he was just eight years old. We were always together, so it's kind of hard because we all still get together. For Billy Joe Jimenez and her family, life's happiest moments always come with a trace of sadness. The thing is, is that he's still not home, so it, it's frustrating at the same time. Billy Joe's nephew, Zachary Bernhardt, disappeared from an apartment on Drew Street in the middle of the night. Sunday, September 11th, marked 22 years since the eight-year-old was first reported missing. Clearwater police say detectives got a call in the early morning. Zachary's mom had stepped away and came back to find her son missing. They grid searched. They did helicopters. Tampa came in to help. It was a, it was a massive search for my nephew. Families of missing children gathered on Monday for Florida's Missing Children's Day. The ceremony acknowledges all of the missing children throughout the state. An age progression photo shows what Zachary might look like today as his 31st birthday approaches in December. It's hard to watch my nephew grow up on a flyer. That's very difficult. Family says Zachary was creative, friendly, and loved decorating for Christmas. An Amber Alert for Zach remains active, making it the longest running Amber Alert in the state. Clearwater detectives say they remain committed to solving the case. The only way our kids come home is through their photo. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.